So we were living in Connecticut at the time. And, um, and sort of to, to uproot everybody on my sort of uh, because of the Joffrey and, and take them to a new place. When my wife had a job, my daughter was in school, I, I couldn't do that to them. So I worked long distance and, and um, for about two years and I would come in and um, teach, coach, stage, you know, do different things with kind of the new company with Amory D'Angelo who was working with Mr. Arpino and, and a new group of dancers as well and it was really a mixture of, of dancers, new dancers, dancers that had come from New York, sort of it was a, a kind of a hodgepodge a little bit of a hodgepodge. So trying to, that, that unity that Mr. Joffrey had been so careful to cultivate was not in existence here in Chicago. And it took quite a while to sort of get to that place. But I think everyone knew that. I mean, that, that's what we were trying to figure out who we were and, and what we were going to be in Chicago. So it took a little while and, and, um, and for me it was, fr I felt like I didn't have a very good impact coming in and out the way I did. I felt like I couldn't help to do what I knew that, that Mr. Joffrey had wanted his company to be by having these little sporadic in and out things. And for me I wanted to be working more full time with one organization because to have more impact I guess. So eventually I moved here. I never lived in Chicago. You know, we toured here many times and had a really great relationship with Chicago because um, we'd been here so much. Um, we had a lot of support here, which is one of the reasons we moved here. You know, Harriet Ross, the Kippers, Barbara and David Kipper, Bruce Sagan, um, Fred Eichner, just so many people were really supportive of us and wanted us to be here. And, um, but I didn't know about Chicago scene as much because we only toured here. So that was, that was what I knew. Um, certainly being here, you know, you start knowing more about certainly Hubbard Street and River North and Giordano and, and I think those were sort of the main companies at the time and, and, and smallish companies. Ballet Chicago under Danny Duell. Um, I know that there was discussion at one point when we first moved here of, of, of working with Danny Duell and sort of being a, a merging and, and that was very, it, it I think it would change, change the identity and change their identity. It wasn't, it, it wouldn't work the way that they, I think that they thought it might work. So we ended up coming here. And I know initially um, the, when the Joffrey came, there was a little f fear of this Joffrey, big name Joffrey, big company, big ballet company coming that was going to take over and everybody was going to go to the Joffrey all of a sudden. But um, luckily, and what because the Joffrey is, was, is and was the type of company that it is, the dance com community actually sort of grew and Hubbard Street grew and River North grew and well, the, the former River North grew and Gus Giordano and new, new dance coming. Dance became a very strong presence in people's lives in Chicago because of the Joffrey and I think that was a really good thing.